The Rapid Equipping Force fields mobile labs like this one in order to solve the urgent operational needs of soldiers. When the head of the local motor pool came to us and said that his soldiers were being put at risk outside the wire because of a mechanical failure, we knew that we had a potentially high-impact project. On the Max Pro and the Met V tires, wheel valves are snapping off. We've seen them here on my base, out of my outlining bases and everything else like that. And when they break off, it causes the tire to go flat right away. And there's no spare tire on these two vehicles. These MRAPs have a central tire inflation system on each tire. On this system, there is an aluminum tire stem for manually inflating the tire. The problem is that this stem protrudes further out on the tire than anything else. If the tire rubs up against an object, such as a wall or berm, the stem is torn off and the tire completely deflates, causing the MRAP to get stuck. The vehicle must now wait in hostile territory while a rescue convoy is sent from base. We got 18 personnel going outside the wire. You got 16 personnel sitting there, and necessarily you add it all up. You get a bunch of guys, all because of a flat tire. After consulting with the unit, lab engineers prototyped a series of designs to address the problem. Each design was first prototyped in plastic using the lab's 3D printer. A fit test was then performed with these plastic parts on the actual vehicle. After each test, the design was modified as necessary and then milled out of metal using the lab's CNC machine. Using these techniques, lab engineers were able to design and deploy the final solution within five weeks of receiving the request. Having the mobile labs deployed to the forward operating bases in Afghanistan means that we can work directly with the soldiers to better understand the challenges that they're facing. Because we can work with them on a daily basis means that we can incorporate their feedback into each design cycle and come up with a better solution faster than we ever could in the States. To ensure that the covers properly protected the valve stems, the final design was tested under real-world conditions on a test course. If it weren't for all the HESCO barriers, you would think you're out in the, outside the wire. Together, lab engineers and soldiers from the unit conducted a series of impact tests to assess the stem valve cover's performance. The valve stem covers were mounted on an MRAP, whose tires were then run up against a series of obstacles, including rocks, berms, and walls. After each impact, lab engineers inspected the valve stem covers for damage, and made note of any design modifications that might be needed. In all cases, the covers worked to protect the valve stems and no failures or flat tires occurred. At the time of this video, the valve stem covers have been installed on the FOB's lead gun truck, which has been going out on patrol for four weeks with no failures. They perform great. We haven't had any issues with them. It was real quick to put them on, then you just take out the two bolts, cover on, two bolts back on. All done. Got to go grind it up against some of the dirt walls through here. No problems with it. Soldiers get to continue on with their mission and not have to really worry about a flat tire. Last time we drove through one of the cops, ended up having to grind up against one of the jingle trucks, ended up ripping some of the RPG netting off, but didn't affect the tires at all. If I had my way, I'd put them on all the Max Pros and Matt